Welcome back! Last time we've built our mining station and configured our miners. If you don't know how to build a station yet, then check this video out first. Today we'll expand our mining base to sell wares all over the sector. Let's go! We're back in the reach, ready to expand our station. We have a ton of ore and a lot of miners. We also have trading miners selling our ore. That's the perfect setup for the hull factories nearby. If you right click on one of them and select trade offers, you'll notice it buys refined metals at a rate of 39% over average. We've got two of them in the sector, so building a refined metal production is a good idea. Let's fly back to the faction representative to get some more blueprints. We need an energy cell production module and a refined metals factory. We also need some container storage to store the products. We also get a one dock pier module so large ships are able to dock and buy our stuff. Now back onto our ship and set course back to the reach. While we travel, let's expand the base. As we try to place the pier module, we notice that there's not enough space for it on the plot we've bought. That's not a problem since we can easily expand it. Select the plot tool and the plot. Then expand it into the plus x direction in this case. Now with the extended space, we can easily place the pier so it points in the correct direction towards the gate. Next up is an energy cell production module. You don't need it on all stations since you can easily supply energy from somewhere else. But there's no energy cell factory in the reach, so we slap some solar panels onto our station to A. Provide an energy source for our production modules and B. Sell energy cells to all the other factories in the sector. Here we just place it below the pier and oh crap, we're out of space again. Let's quickly extend the plot, minus Y this time. Here we go. Alright, second try. Place panels, rotate panels, done. Panel orientation doesn't matter in X4 by the way, so just put them wherever you like. Alright, next up is the refined metal production. Just place it on top of our pre-installed cross connector. Then afterwards, we place a base connector behind it and another cross connector. Why? because this way we can easily place more production modules if needed. Place two container storage modules in the same way you place the solid storage. Confirm your changes and that's it. If you now check the logical station overview, you can see that we have energy cells and ore, which combine into refined metal. Expand the container to see which storage type is needed and other useful statistics of each module. Next we assign a builder. The one we used last is still hanging out at the jump gate, so we hire him. Don't forget to give the station some money to buy the required resources by accepting the construction estimate. Building materials are being delivered, our construction ship arrives and builds the station. While our station is under construction, we configure the traders we will need later to sell our goods. While our miners can transport ore, we now need transporters with container storage. In our case, I pick the Eitz Vanguard transporter and I start with the medium preset. Mark II combat engines and thrusters have a good price to performance ratio when it comes to traders. Mark II shields are worth the money because we want our traders well protected. Remove all turrets because we want them to rather flee than fight. Then we remove all unnecessary stuff from the software panel. I usually keep the docking computer Mark II, downgrade the rest like the long range scanner, object scanner and targeting software. And remove all the flares, your trader doesn't need them. I usually increase the service crew to 10 or more to passively train some personnel. They always come in handy to fulfill other jobs later in the game. Wait until the trader has been built. Then select it, right click on your station and select trade for build storage. It will now help to acquire the materials needed for construction. It doesn't take long until it arrives with a bunch of energy cells in the cargo hold. Meanwhile, our construction vessel started to do its job. After a while, the pier is ready. 
followed by the energy cell production module below the station. Afterwards, the refined metal production unit gets built. And shortly after, the new connection structures followed by one storage module on the left and another one on the right. And there we go, station is done. Let's check the logical overview. As you can see, the ore has been removed from trade wares and moved up into the storage tab. It still is only supplied by our own ships by default, but we need to set up a new cell offer. At the moment, the station keeps all the supply. Let's allow our manager to sell everything except of roughly a quarter of the maximum amount we're able to store. The same goes for our energy cell production. We set the cell offer to unrestricted. As we only use 2160 cells per hour, we set the station to keep that exact amount and sell the rest. Instead of using the slider, you might also just click on the number and put in the value you want. Whoops, missed a zero. Never mind, let's keep 9 more, just in case. Turn off automatic pricing and set the price to something very cheap, like 11 or 12. So you outbid anyone else and the whole sector comes to buy from your station. Now let's check out our end product. We produce roughly 2000 units per hour. Set the sell offer to unrestricted and keep automatic pricing for now. Since the trade rule only buy from own ships is a bit confusing now, let's rename it to only from slash to own faction. That's better. What we need to do now is to reassign our trader from its build storage supply job. Select it, right click on the station and select trade for commander, then assign a group. That's it. As you can see, our trader immediately picked up a trade. It will dock at the station to grab some refined metals and deliver them to one of the hull part factories. Now, there's one last thing to do. Our solar panels are a pain to look at because they face into the wrong direction. Let's fix that. Go to plan build, right click on them and select remove. Now place a new module facing into the correct direction. This means the little circular platform at the bottom sticks out to the back. So the other side is the front where the nice and shiny panels are. If you delete and replace the module in a single session, all the resources will be reused to build the new module. Let's wait a bit. And there we go. What a beautiful station we have now. It's now selling energy cells, refined metals and ore left and right, observe the market and expand if needed. Here's a little bonus at the end. This will make it easier for you to select a good place for a station that yields maximum profits. The system with the most neighbors within three jumps are Profit Center Alpha, Silent Witness 1, Grand Exchange 4, Trinity Sanctum 3 and 2 Grand. Thanks for stopping by, fly safe and see you next time.